गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज धीरज राठौर योर मैथ टीचर वेलकम बैक यू ऑल आई एम बैक विद न्यू टॉपिक इक्वलेंट फ्रैक्शंस फॉर यू ऑल एज वी हैव स्टडीड अर्लियर एन इक्वलेंट फ्रैक्शन ऑफ ए गिवन फ्रैक्शन कैन बी ऑप्टेंड बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग और डिवाइडिंग इट्स न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर बाय द सेम नॉन जीरो नंबर सो सियर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दिस बाय टेकिंग वन एग्जांपल सपोज अ फ्रैक्शन इज गिवन यर टू अपॉन थ्री यू आर रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइंड आउट इट्स वन इक्वलेंट फ्रैक्शन सो सियर सिंपली वी विल मल्टीप्लाई यर बाय टू to the numerator and by 2 to the denominator so see here 2 to the 4 and 3 to the 6 this is our required answer now the question comes that why i have multiplied this one by 2 only why we have not multiplied the given fraction by 1 so the answer is this that whenever we are multiplying the given fraction by 1 then there will not be any change in the fraction the fraction obtained will be same as the given fraction let us check it out the fraction was given here 2 by 3 if we are required to find out the equivalent fraction if we are multiplying this one by 1 so see here 1 into 1 so 2 by 2 and 3 by 3 this here this is the original fraction which was given so whenever it is required that find out the equivalent fraction we will not multiply by 1 we will simply multiply by 2 now suppose now it is asking that find out the three fractions three equivalent fractions of a given fraction then what what we will do if suppose the fraction is given here 4 upon 5 it is required that find out three equivalent fractions so simple we will write here 4 by 5 three times if it is asking four equivalent fractions so we will write here 4 by 5 four times if it is asking five equivalent fractions of 4 by 5 so we will write here 4 by 5 five times so see here 4 upon 5 it is asking here three times sorry it is asking here three equivalent fractions three equivalent fractions so it is asking a three equivalent fractions so we will write here 4 by 5 three times one then again two then again three now i have already told you that for finding out the equivalent fraction we will start multiplying the numerator and denominator by two so first of all this will multiplied by two denominator multiplied by two this one multiplied by three this one multiplied by three this one multiplied by four and This one also multiplied by four. So see here now, four two is a eight, five two is a ten. Again, four three is a twelve, five three is a fifteen. Again, four four is a sixteen, and three four is a, and sorry, this is a five, and five four is a twenty. This is our required answer. Suppose if the question was that find out the five equivalent fraction. So then we have written here four by five five times, and the process will be same. Let us understand one more question. Now one more question I have written here. The fraction is five by six, and it is asked that find out the four equivalent fractions. So what we will do here? We will simply write five by six four times. So see here five by six, five by six, five by six, and five by six. Now we will start multiplying by two. So multiplied by two, multiplied by two, multiplied by three, multiplied by three, multiplied by four, multiplied by four, multiplied by five, multiplied by five. So five two is a ten upon six two is a twelve. Five three is a fifteen. Six three is a eighteen. Five four is a twenty. Six four is a twenty-four. Five five is a twenty-five. Six five is a thirty. This is required answer. I have told you how to find our first uh, few numbers of number of equivalent fractions. Now let us understand. Suppose two fractions are given, then how we will check that the given fractions are equivalent or not? Okay. Suppose two fractions are given. So this one is n one upon d one means numerator one, denominator one, and n o one fraction is given n two upon d two. numerator 2 denominator 2 so for checking uh, out that the given fractions are equivalent or not 
we will simply cross multiply means n1 into d2 means numerator of first into denominator of second is equal to n2 into d1 means numerator of second into denominator of first if the product is equal then we can say that the given fractions are equivalent let us understand this by taking one example okay i've written here two fractions and it is required that find out uh, that the given fractions are equivalent or not so we will follow the same steps we will write here 6 upon 7 and uh, 12 upon 14 now we will simply cross multiply we will cross multiply to this and this now see here 6 multiplied by 14 and 7 multiplied by 12 so see here 14 6 are 84 12 7 are this is also 84 are these two equal yes of course both sides are equal so the given fractions are equivalent this is our required answer.